I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus FX series and this one is an FX 55.3 V model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the internal battery for your laptop if yours is not holding up enough charge or just discharging really quickly then you might want to replace yours I'll leave the link for the tools and the spare battery that way you can purchase them in a video description so you can purchase yours I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. On this basic set, we're going to use a Phillips number one. And we are going to use a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are suitable to opening cases and powers. All right, with this two on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, make sure you power up. You're going to see a whole bunch of screws. And there's a hidden screw that you need a little needle or pointy thing to just point through this rubber and lift it up and there's a tiny, not tiny, a screw right underneath. It is pretty long screw, so remove this screw right in there. Put it to one side. Now we're going to remove the rest of the screws all around. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more video tech requests and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward this part and remove all the screws. All right, now that we remove all the screws, what you wanna do, you wanna grab yourself the opening tool. And you want to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover right there and you just want to twist it and you might want to hear some click sound that's what you want to hear do all around in the front work yourself to the side to the corner right by the dvd drive and then you're going to see like the whole thing coming so if you need to work more just go and just put my finger there just pull it up and the cover should come up pretty easy just lift it up move it to the side and right away you can see the battery right in here. I don't see any battery information right in here. So we're gonna remove it. So maybe we'll see something underneath. It does have a little. Before we do anything, we're gonna disconnect it. We're gonna pull this jack backward, it's straight back like that. All right, once we remove the jack backward, the battery is still not coming up because there's a tiny hinge right in here. While you're pulling it, you're twisting it towards this way, towards the back, push this hinge towards the DVD drive, and there's another one right in this side, and there you go. Now you can just twist it and bring it up. And the battery information is right on the other side. I don't know why they couldn't just put it on this side. So this is a 14.4 volt, 48 watt hour battery. These are pretty much one, let me see, one, two, three, four, 18, 650 cells. So the model for this one is an A41N1611. That's the model number for this battery. I'll leave the link in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Let's say that you got yours. You want to bring it down. You want to scoop down the back end in a 45 degree inside the hinge and bring it down and twist it towards the motherboard. Also, I'll give you a tip how to charge and discharge in the battery when you first purchase it. All right, now what you want to do, you want to bring the cable all around here and make sure the jack is facing straight the connector and push it straight in, just pinch them together. And there's no screw, these two screw goes from the bottom cover on. Once you have this battery in there, just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, and just push down the corners. You want to hear those nice big click sounds, just find that's what you want to hear. So once you got the cover on and it start putting up the bottom screws and the hidden screw in the middle on the rubber fit. And now regarding the new battery, once you get the new battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and you want to leave it charging at least for three to four hours or five hours, doesn't matter. After three to four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger and you want to let it drain by watching a movie and with the screen brightness down to 50 pretty much you want to drain the battery slowly don't put any gaming or anything heavy load as soon as the battery went to the lowest point possible 20 percent probably then you want to turn off the laptop and then you want to leave it charging again for 
three to four or five hours. After that, then you can power on the laptop as you wish, charged with a cable connector or without a cable charger connected. That initial charge and discharge, it is really important for the new battery. To keep them in a good shape, do this process, charging and discharging, the way I just said it, once every two months. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.